King Richard, out in theaters and on HBO, new film starring Will Smith, uh, Anjuane Ellis, John Bernthal, Sania Sidney and Demi Singleton. It's based on a true story of Venus and Serena Williams, and even more so their father Richard. Um, we watched their early careers through the lens of the father, who from day one has been their first coach, their staunch protector and their biggest believer. We see all the struggles uh, he had to get through to, to make this story, as we know, happen. Um, tennis, to this day, is not a sport which features a lot of black athletes, so that's one thing. And then specifically in the US, there's also the economic aspect, where mostly wealthy people um, pick up tennis. And the Williamses, um, the Williams family, was definitely not wealthy. Um, they lived in Compton, um, in a black ghetto, filled with poverty and gang violence. And yet, through his stubbornness, um, conviction and will, uh, Richard managed to push through all these obstacles and kickstart the careers of his daughters. Now, based on the trailers, I was worried about two things. First of all, that the movie would be cheaply sappy and sentimental and would present a story in a one-dimensional way of this you know, one perfect black man against the world. It wasn't. Um, I think that the film manages to have layers uh, and present Richard as this complicated man that, that was far from perfect himself. Um, the movie alludes to many of his sins and weaknesses and directly shows how at times his vision and his stubbornness came in direct conflict with the other coaches uh, and the girls themselves. And sometimes he would be proved right in the end, but sometimes, as a viewer, I was totally against what he was doing and circumstances eventually forced him to admit his mistake and try to learn, thro learn from it. Um, secondly, I was worried about Will Smith being, well, Will Smith. Um, he tends to play similar characters in a lot of his movies and I wondered if he would be able to, to drop his own persona and create this other character. And again, he does. I think it disappears into the role. He's, he's very good in terms of the voice, the accent, as well as the physicality of the performance from the way he walks and holds himself. Uh, you get a sense of who he is. Um, and and he, he just he's genuinely believable on an emotional level. I think you can read a lot of the stuff that goes inside from his face. And since he is the central character in the film, it hinged on his performance being solid. Good news is that he carries that weight. Um, I thought that the supporting performances were all great, uh, I liked the look of the film, it's set in California and Florida mostly, um, which means that the entire film has this warm, sunny, brightly colored look. Uh, I thought that was a nice departure, especially from a lot of biopics which go for darker color palettes, um, particularly when covering the more difficult periods, let's say. Um, this film stays warm throughout, and I think that the color palette mirrors Richard's unwavering optimism and, and belief in his plan for a better tomorrow. The tennis scenes are great. Um, there are a few matches, in particular the very last one in the film, which managed to really establish tension. I mean, I was on the edge of my seat uh, watching them. And it, also, in general, the movie is paced very well. Uh, despite being almost two and a half hours long, I was never really bored. Final point on the ending, uh, I appreciated the moment it chooses for the end point. Um, I mean, looking at the careers of Venus and Serena, there were a lot of moments you could pick to end on a triumphant note, and without spoiling anything, I thought that King Richard picks a more unobvious moment, um, one which isn't obviously triumphant and yet manages to find hope and pride in it in a bittersweet way. So I have to say I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, in fact, much more than I thought I would. Uh, I think it's very well made. It tells the story in an engaging and interesting way. And it is filled with convincing performances, which you can appreciate even more after seeing the real footage um, montage which rolls during the credits. Great stuff.